Hi gorgeous! So Essence has released new shades of the Hydra Matte Lipstick. I have been talking about this product since it was released last year because I think it is such an underrated lipstick. I have here the three new shades, also the first colors that they released and in this video I'm gonna be doing lip swatches and arm swatches of all of the shades. So you can see in one video all of the colors and decide if you like any of them. I'm a huge fan of the formula and you can see also my worst that I did last year. I'm going to post the video in the description box. These lipsticks retail for $4.99 each and in Europe it is €2.49. They are cruelty free and vegan. Also they contain a lot of moisturizing ingredients to nourish the lips. If you're not subscribed please subscribe and click on the notification bell. I'm posting videos every week. And let's start with the arm swatches of all of the lipsticks. I'm gonna start with the newer shades so it can be easy for you to find them. And we have here the shade 409 unbreakable after that we have the shade 410 nude mood the next shade is 411 rock and rose and then let's go to the shade 401 movement up next shade 402 honestly or honestly then we have the shade 403 pitch it and then let's continue to the shade 404 Virtu Rose. Up next shade 405 Berry Special and here we have 406 Cherific. Afterwards 407 Coral Competence. Competence. And moving on to the shade 408 Pink Positive. I know they're not the most symmetrical swatches on social media. So someone asked me in my previous lip swatches video of the Hydra Matte lipsticks what colors are gonna look better for cool undertones and almost any color that we have here is gonna look nice for a cool skin tone except maybe this peachy one or this brownish so this is the shade 410 and the other one is the shade 403 peach it like I remembered. Basically anything that has red or blue can look nice on someone with a cool undertone. If you have a warmer undertone the peachy shade is gonna look very nice on you. I'm going to remove the swatches because they started transferring here and I don't want to become a lipstick person. I'm going to remove what I have now on my lips. It is this hydrating lip gloss. It is called Lip Jam Hydrating Lip Gloss by Catrice Cosmetics. I have the shade 20 Straw Baby. I'm applying just a tiny bit of concealer to cover the outline of the lips and I'm very excited to swatch the first shade. This one is 409 Unbreakable. Okay, mirror check. Let's see how it looks on the lips. Ooh, nice. This is a beautiful red brown, brown lipstick. It's gonna look amazing on medium complexions and darker complexions. On their website they say that these have a soft matte finish. To me, this is not matte. It is leaning towards satin. It is glossier for a soft matte finish. It is so creamy, very, very lightweight. We have a very light watermelon scent. I like it. You don't smell it on the lips. This lip shade is gonna look super nice with a reddish brown black eye look, a smoky eye look, maybe something like a graphic eyeliner look. My lips are looking very smooth. It doesn't intensify any fine lines. It's not feathering. I really like the first new shade. Let's go now to the second new shade. This one is the 410 Nude Mood and of course what am I saying? I'm going to remove this one first. I forgot how I'm doing lip swatches obviously. The first shade didn't stain my lips and now let's go to the second new shade. This one is a brownish nude shade. It has also a little bit of pink. It's not sticky at all. It is super creamy. Also this formula is not transfer proof. It doesn't claim to be so just a sec. Kiss proof test. Not check. It's very very soft. I removed it and let's neutralize again. After that we have the shade 411 Rock and Rose. Ooh. 
let's see what we have this one is a light pink lipstick it has a little bit of lavender it's not very complimentary for my skin tone and i look washed out it doesn't look nice with my foundation or my eye look but the problem is it is also very light this shade can look better on lighter complexions and you can also use it on the center of the lips to lighten up another berry or pink lipstick in the beginning it was intensifying the dryness of my lips now i think it is warmed up and it is smoother this light pink shade can look very nice with purple eyeshadows or purple eyeliner something with pink undertones for the eyes and next let's go to the shade 401 movement with a kitchen paper i'm removing it this is so creamy we have here a light mauve shade it is a cool toned lipstick it can look very nice if you have a cool undertone by the way i like wearing similar colors in the fall with the falling leaves the formula makes the lips fuller so you don't see the lines of my lips and this lipstick can look very nice with gray eyeshadows and also some lavender glitter on the eyelid Ooh, that would look amazing so let's find now the next shade this one is 402 honestly honestly essence always has complicated names that i cannot pronounce in my videos but first let's remove the mauveish one now i'm covering the outline i love this color it is a light beige lipstick I really like it. It can go very well with brown lip liner around it or a brown lipstick on the outer corners of the lips for a nombre effect. Again, it's not sticky at all. It is a very soft lipstick on the lips. It's so good. And here we have the shade 403 Peach It. This also looks very nice. The shade Honestly didn't stain the lips that's nice and we have here a light peachy shade exactly like the name indicates it is so wearable you can use it every day if you have a lighter complexion if you have a medium to darker skin tone you can use it on the center of the lips or on top of a darker lip pencil it looks very dreamy it is super creamy this color can elevate your eye look you can do something peachy brownish and it can look very expensive i feel like this is a shade that we see a lot of times with luxury makeup brands after that we have the shade 404 virtu rose and i was very confused by the name in my previous video you told me it is something like virtuoso virtuoso yeah virtuoso i couldn't make the connection so let's see what color we have i took off the previous lipstick and i have also applied some concealer oh my god this is so pretty and we have here a gorgeous raspberry pink lip shade i love it this is so wearable for every day if you're not into bright and intense lipsticks this is for you this can be your new best friend it can go very well with just eyeliner on the eyes purple eyeshadows pink eyeshadows raspberry <laughs> or just mascara because this is such a lovable lip shade lovable yes i'm sure if you have this on your lips people are going to ask you what is the lip shade a hundred percent and the next shade is 405 berry special some concealer and let's apply berry special with a q-tip i'm just cleaning a little bit the edges so far the shades that i had on my lips didn't stain my skin so it was easy to just correct the shape with q-tips this is also a very wearable berry shade it is a little bit more reddish and it can look fantastic on medium and darker complexions they are going to look more natural on them also what i like about all of the lipsticks is that you can outline the lips with the tip of the lipstick of course you can also use a lip pencil for the brighter and more intense colors this lipstick shade also is giving me royal vibes luxurious vibes let's find now the next shade which is 406 cherry fig okay so it didn't stain the lips i need to 
correct a little bit the outline and we have here a very wearable red lipstick it is so smooth on the lips this one stains a little bit the outline so you need to outline with a lip pencil as i have said this is very wearable and it can be an everyday staple in your makeup routine you can use it with mascara on the eyes a very thin black eyeliner a little bit of bronzer in the crease and you don't need much because this lipstick is so gorgeous after that i'm going to apply the shade 407 Coral Competence Competence I can never I can never say this name The shade Cherify Clearly stained the lips And I'm going to apply more concealer It's not unusual to have a red lipstick Staining the lips Okay so let's go to the Coral Competence why am I trying? Oh, it's gorgeous. So this is definitely a brighter red lipstick. It has a little bit of corally. It is perfect for summer makeup looks. It is so beautiful. It can look amazing on any skin tone. For such a bright lip shade, I would do black eyeliner and a lot of mascara on the eyes to have a more balanced makeup look. If you have any other ideas for an eye look for this lip shade, let me know in the comments. I can't think of something else. And then we have the shade 408 Pink Positive. The shade 407 stained a lot of my lips, so I also took a makeup wipe. I was able to remove a lot of the color and now i'm going to apply some concealer again and then now it's time for pink positive oh that looks nice this is a beautiful magenta pink lipstick it is a must-have for summer makeup looks this can go also very well with eyeliner or just mascara on the eyes because it is such a beautiful lip shade it can elevate your mood it is perfect. It's been a year since my last lip swatches video for this formula here. My thoughts about them have not changed. I think this is a great lipstick. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite shades. Last year my favorite shades were 402, 404 and 408. And I'm gonna say these are still my favorites. I'm going to add one more shade to my favorites and this one is Cherific, shade number 406. From the new shades, I would say my favorite is 409, the brownish red. However, I don't see myself using it now in the summer. I think it is a more fallish for autumn makeup looks, am I right? Essence also has new shades for the 8R Matte Liquid Lipstick. I have done lip swatches in this video here. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!